and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Boros Feather, which is going to be our second deck here on our Tier 1 Tuesday. The deck list that I'm using here, ooh, that should update our, our basic lands to look a little better. But the deck list that I'm using here was a deck that went 7-0 and in a standard premiere event this weekend. Um, and uh, can't really do too much better than that, right? 7-0. and There was a couple of decks that did. You know, it was a, it was a large tournament, a very competitive tournament, and it went 7-0. and And, and uh, so that's, that's a good sign, of course. And Boris Feather, of course, is just a deck that we see a lot of in the metagame. So I want to play it here on Tier 1 Tuesday. And uh, we have some card choices that I wouldn't necessarily be making myself, but I'm I'm not one that plays a whole lot of feather, so I need to, you know, try them out and and uh, you know see how these specific card choices go. One card that I was you know kind of talking about a couple of cards I'm talking about here, Gird for Battle. This doesn't seem like a card that I'm too interested in playing that I would that I would like put into a deck. But there are times when I play against it, and it looks pretty strong. But it's just, you know, it's a one-mana sorcery to put some counters on some some creatures. So it's like when you already have, like, your creatures out and your creatures are living and you don't have to worry about them dying, then you can make them larger. And, like, is that really that necessary? Like, that sounds like you're already doing good. Like, do you need this? I don't know. But we're, you know, it, it's in here. So maybe it just increases, like, it's possible it just increases the power level of the deck enough uh, to, to make it worth it. So we'll be trying that out. And we have Alpine Moons over here in the sideboard. As y'all know, I really like Blood Sun. I'm a big fan of Blood Sun. I think it's uh, the way to go against the Scapeshift decks. But to be fair, I haven't given Alpine Moon a, a, a shot. Uh, I was trying to say chance and shot at the same time and didn't really say either. But I'm trying to give it a shot. Or haven't given it a shot. I've just been all about Blood Sun so far. And just because, you know, like the thing that I'm worried about with Alpine Moon is that you, you play Alpine Moon against the Scape Shift deck and you name Field of the Dead and they cast their Scape Shift or, or just have either way or use um, their three mana creature and go find somehow they get Blast Zone on the battlefield and then Blast Zone gets to blow up Alpine Moon and their Field of the Dead still works. Uh, then afterwards, of course, um, Alpine Moon doesn't stop like their Scry lands or their Gain Life lands or anything else like that too. But it is cheaper. It's you know it's one mana instead of three mana. So we'll give it a sh we'll give it a shot. I need to come up with a different thing <laughs> here, and we'll try out some Alpine Moon. Um, but yeah, we played Naya Feather the other day, and it, it felt okay. You know, it, it felt okay. It could do some really powerful things. So now we're going to try Boros Feather, and we'll see how that goes. All right, let's update our basics. Let's get better basic lands. So we need seven plains and three mountains. Let's scroll on over here. Let's get seven plains and three mountains. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't put some fancy sleeves on here. We should probably do some fancy sleeves too. Is there a red-white Planeswalker? No, they don't make any good red-white Planeswalkers. Which is sad. That sleeve's kind of cool. What does this one look like? Yeah, I don't think I've ever used this sleeve, actually. Let's use it. All right, Boris Feather time. So with our Tier 1 Tuesday here, we're going to be playing five matches in ranked with our decks. Yeah, maybe that Gird for Battle gives the deck a like the clock it needs against scape shift for example and yeah maybe with how aggressive this deck is maybe that one mana on the alpine moon is where it needs to be so i could shock in to have shock available Hello. 
Right, I'm risking it. Against stomping ground. Yay. So stomping around steam vents. I think this is I think this is Nexus. I think this is Team or Nexus. That would be my guess. If I were to guess. Am I supposed to play Feather so the Defiant Strike goes back to my hand? I don't think it's Team or Elementals because they haven't done anything. I feel like if it was Team or Elementals, they would have done something already. It is Nexus. I think this is a new Nexus deck that I've played against earlier today. That's playing Every like four Bloods on main with the with Nintendo. the land. The past. That one land, three, six. Um. Lotus Field. I can't kill them here, right? I don't think I can kill them here with just one red mana. I guess I should have kept that scry land. You can make them go down to one? How? What? I can't cast the Reckless Rages, right? Oh, because I shock and then shock, so that's four. Oh, right, I, I get to... This thing can cast shock. Never mind. Well, I think I'm still going to just kill Tamio and put them down. No, maybe I shouldn't kill Tamio. Yeah, because this is eight, and then we can go shock, shock next turn to finish him off. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Well, we may have been dead the next turn. So demystifies. Do I actually want to play Alpine Moon to stop... Like Alpine Moon stops uh, Lotus Field, maybe? That, that can't be worth it, right? <laughs> I 
Do I want to play any? Do I want to play this other Fry over any of these other cards? Like, do I take out Gerd for battle, for Fry, or one of these creatures or something, or God's willing? Maybe a Gerd for battle for a Fry. It means like the Arcanist isn't really doing very much here. Yeah, I guess this could this could be good against Ascanta. That's true. Could be good against Ascanta. I don't know. We'll see. Do you like me some Demystify, but we can't keep a hand without a creature, I don't think. Hmm. Oh, right. They probably don't play Ascanta because Blood Sun stops Ascanta. So, yeah, y'all are right. They probably don't have Ascanta. Gosh. That's unfortunate. So, if, if we just had a normal land, I wouldn't be keeping this hand. But we were on the draw with a Scry land. So, we get to look at three cards to look for a second land. So, I kept it. But... I guess I should have gone down to five. I wouldn't have kept that on seven. If that was like seven cards, I would have mulliganed. I tried it with six. I guess I, guess I should have just gone down to five. Because this was just a... You lose the game if you don't have a land in your first few cards. All right, we're back in it. Yeah, five, that's true. Five card is, is hard to win with also. Wish we had that demystify over any of these other cards. Oh, there's a cool little animation there. Subtle. That has some wings. Dueling you will be excellent research. To the library. Your aggression is noted. So I could shock Tamio, then I get to do six to them. So they go down to nine, or I could have them at twelve, and I have Arcanist in play. I think it's probably better to have Arcanist in play. I have learned all I can here. Well, Arcanist, I guess, recast shock. That's what it does. Probably upkeep a, a God's willing to scry before we draw. And if we find something that puts a counter on the Arcanist or grows the power or anything, we can recast the Fry.
those cards weren't useful. <laughs> well, we would not have drawn War Boss if we wouldn't have done that. Yeah, we're playing against Team Renexus. Get some more scry in. Looking for another shock. That's not bad. Shock. No. I remember to do that feather stuff second main next time. Not rebuying root snare, so they must have another root snare in hand. I just put one in the graveyard. All right, second main. There's a shock. It's a good one too. I think we got this. Um, I'm I'm not like super experienced with the feather decks to say whether Boros or Naya is better, but looking at like just results recently, Boros has been putting up better results. We did play Naya the other day and it was okay, but it wasn't 
It didn't feel spectacular, but you know, it felt okay. Um, and so now we're trying Boros today. And seeing how Boros feels. So far, we're 1 0. Can't get much better than that. It doesn't really seem like we have enough lands in this deck. Hey, daffodils. Ah, vampires. I was like, what's going on over here? Even trying Nia out and doesn't seem as consistent as Boros. I could certainly see that. I could see that. How do we win? Was I supposed to just play Legionnaire last turn and attack them for two, I guess? I guess I was supposed to do that instead of play this Arcanist. And my plan was like Arcanist, then Legionnaire plus Defiant Strike, but I guess the Defiant Strike goes away forever. So am I, am I supposed to just play Feather here? I have not survived millennia to stand down now. Our How's our sideboard looking? For life. Two baffling and two lava coil. Doesn't look great. Hey, Dan. Man, that vampire deck is good sometimes. A lot of times. All right, so if we have two baffling and two lava coil, just get rid of like Legion War Boss. 
I guess we have a lot of removal in here with the Reckless Rages and Shocks. And then a, a Gird for Battle. I, mean, I don't know. I could see Gird for Battle actually being necessary to make our creatures big enough. We need to keep the 16 creatures, probably. So I guess it's just Gird for battle. Oh, we saw that game, like... Flame Sweep, like, wouldn't really be killing stuff. The creatures are too big. Donto Vanguard with a bunch of Reckless Rages is painful. see the point in attacking. Actually, I'm fine with it. Fine with this bolt just going to 16. Now, Reckless Raging here would not be good. That just opens up our our Tensorship Legionnaire to a removal spell. You, will, you really want to hold up God's Willing. We can make them go to a lower life total later. But we do not want to get rid of that. Okay, okay. I see the point in the guard for battles now.
Just want to keep this God's Willing up. Next turn, we're going to have, you know, an awesome, awesome turn. That's the plan, at least. Alright, so they're willing to just trade the Odonta Vanguard away. Going down to me. I got out of nine. This hits me down to six. I guess a Soren's a huge problem. Alright, we have our two creatures. I'm fine trading them away too. We have so much scrying in here. Morgan, greetings. Um, so I'm gonna have like a lot of scries here. So is this like the best we can do? Like, what what do we really want to find? I don't know the answer to that question. It's probably not lava coil though. Uh, pro black. It's definitely not Temple of Triumph. It's probably Legionnaire. Probably just want another Legionnaire. You think I should look for Feather? Yeah, I'm thinking the Hasty Legionnaire. So I could either draw a card and get just one plus one, or I get these counters again, and I don't draw the card. That's nine. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I guess we could Reckless Rage. Yeah, actually, I like Reckless Raging.
Reckless Rage does the most damage. The Gur for battle would deal two. You know, like if you think of it dealing two, this dealt four. So it dealt the most damage. Hey Morgan! Oh, thank you so much for that donation. That's really, really kind of you. I really appreciate that. You are awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. Gird for battle. What is it? What is even? What is that word, gird? That's not a word. I don't. I don't think I've ever heard of that word before. Gird. Geared. Is that geared for battle? But that's not how you spell geared. Or is or is that how you spell geared? I would I would expect geared to be like G E A R. Gird means equip. Stre strengthen. It's pronounced gird. Gird. Hmm. Yeah, it's not a word that I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen that word anywhere else. <laughs> it's great big bird for short. Gird. That's what I was thinking. It's a great bird. It's a gird. To put on a belt or a strap or something. Hmm. So it's not geared for battle. It's gird for battle. I guess I could go planes and defiant strike one of their things, I suppose. Splash. Oregon. I don't know. I don't know whether Naya is better than this. I just don't know. Um, so far, I think I've been liking this version more. This one feels pretty, pretty consistent and everything. Com you know, just the very small sample of like the Naya that we played last time and what we played so far here. I think I've liked this more. Hmm. <laughs> I don't wear swords. So, why do I keep doing that when I read it? I don't wear swords. So that's just a statement I haven't... I don't know if I've ever heard anybody say that before either. I don't wear swords. <laughs> that's a pretty good statement. Turn it inside out. Yeah, Naya does a, a better job playing a late game against removal heavy decks because that enchantment is pretty incredible. Let's just get rid of this token here. So 
I think if you're if you're playing against like the more like more mid range and control decks, I think you want to be Naya. But against other aggro decks and combo decks and stuff, I think you want to be Boros. And there's a lot of aggro in the format. RN. Naya is also better during Christmas times. That's also true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, liking where we're at here. Do I want to just Reckless Rage the Vanguard? I guess maybe I should Defiant Strike and just draw a card. Nah. Killing this thing. <laughs> yeah, it does. It is pretty different from the YouTube videos, right? With having the music on over here. For the YouTube videos, you just have to put on your own music or you get or you can also speed up the videos i know a lot of people watch the youtube vids on like one one and a half speed as the game go faster and everything hey what's up penumbra 14 months and counting that is awesome you are awesome getting a couple touchdowns in there saying thanks for the consistency you've helped get through some rough patches with a good mtg distraction well, i'm sorry to hear about the rough patches but i'm glad that i could do anything that I could to help there. And yeah, hope hope you're getting through those those patches. And doing well on the other side. I need to put the. Yeah, I need to talk much slower so that the people that are watching this at 1.5 speed. Are able to understand my sentiments easily. The mu yeah, the music's not, yeah, you know, putting the music down, uh, the music's not at, um, hmm, that's a problem. The music's not on YouTube. All right, so I could, I'm going to do this to scry first to look for God's willing, of course. Not a bad card just to have. <clears throat> so they're at 15. Could just keep this. I mean, that's better than a random card.
yeah, it's besides <clears throat> yeah, besides another feather or God's willing, it's the third best card that we could have. Yeah, <laughs> talking about feather. Why don't you hurt? Alright, we'll get the counter on the Legionnaire. Make them pay another four life. Let's get upkeep stop. I mean, they're just dead, right? I guess I can go down to one with another Reckless Rage. Scry. There we go. Give it pro white. And boom. Vampires. A little easier to beat when they only have two lands. And that feather card's pretty good. I don't know if y'all have seen that card before. It's pretty good. I was gonna do. I was gonna be doing more scrying than just the defiant strike, though. Also, before that other draw step, I was gonna be doing like the other thing. Like I was gonna do reckless. I was at least. I think I was gonna do reckless rage. Also, I was probably like depending on what we got there. I, I may have done it. You know, cast something else to target the legionnaire to scry again because you know just targeting the legionnaire to scry. So I may have done something. I may have done some more, scrying there before the draw step. So that's why I still do it on upkeep. But yeah, you're right. We could have gone draw step and then do scry draw off of Defiant Strike. But I like just doing doing that first and seeing if we want to do anything else before draw step. Hmm. Opponent goes first, but I'll be the first to mulligan because they're keeping their seven, seven card hand. Um, just foundry? No, maybe a plains. I think I want this Temple of Scryumph to start the game off with. Next set's coming out the end of September. So the end of next month. We're approaching six weeks away now. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, so the re release date is August 4th, so pre-release date, or October 4th, sorry, is that Friday. So pre-release is, is the weekend before that, like the 27th, so it should be out on Arena before that. So it should be out on Arena around like the 23rd, 24th, 
So if we say it's the 24th, which is Tuesday, today's Tuesday, that is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's in seven Tuesdays, so exactly seven weeks from today would be my guess of whenever it's out. It's exactly seven weeks from now. Um, sure. We got to go first. Did our I thought we were going second. Didn't we just draw a card? Yeah, we were going second. My opponent just didn't play a land or anything. Is this Manila's Dredge? Am I one away from the next thing? Where are we? I think I'm in Platinum right now. What's after Platinum? Diamande? I think I'm one win away from Diamande. And I guess this is how we're going to get there. Hmm. Opponent not really doing anything. Swamp. So see that little round thing right there? That's like the part, like, you know, if you're at like an outside concert and you're trying to check to see if all the speakers are working. And you have to, this one right here is the Southwest amp. It's the amp in the Southwest. That's that one right there. Hey, Bertim. At least that's what I think it is. That's what it says on the card. It says it's the Southwest Amp. It's a long ways out there. It's a large concert venue. Yeah, looks like our opponent had connection issues. No, we were not one win away from Diamande. All right, now we are. Got to win one more. All right, big match here. We'll keep this, but we need, hopefully we draw red mana. We don't want our mana base to be two plane. It's, a, it's all we have are two planes. Tuesday dad joke, dad joke series. Ooh. Well, it's just all ready to play the Adanto Vanguard, but now I kind of feel like I should shock this Knight of the Ebon Legion. Two other cards in hand. Bleh. Depart. 
Lord Innistrad immediately. Or you that calls to your soul. I bestow a mighty curse. Attack. You cannot hurt my hollow soul. Bloodline flows through you. Pray. We're so good at magic. All right, baffling end and lava coil. I do not want a side of fries. And we're going to take out the war boss and one gird for battle. We only need to gird for battle once. We don't need to twice. <laughs> God's God's willing, I think, is a, a really fair card. I mean, I think it's I think it's a I certainly understand printing God's willing. Printing feather is. I think that's more that the the head turner of like that that's printed more than God's willing, I think. All right. Vampires is our final platinum boss. We're up a game. So just gotta get one of these next two. You think Fry has the best art of M20? Like the little chicken feet? I don't know what my favorite art is. I just like so many of the arts. Like definitely the art in the cards is one of the best things in Magic. Yeah, all cards are, yeah, it it is not rares designed first. All cards are designed simultaneously. And they're tested out a lot in limited and then also in constructed. And yeah, the whole set's designed together. Like they, if I start with, you know, like they get like what the, the set's going to be about um you know story wise and you know like what's going on where they're at what the plane is and then you know kind of figure out what the um the the core mechanics of the set are going to be after that and kind of go from there i guess our opponent doesn't have a very good mold of five here they were saying G. G. Um, just probably a Danto Vanguard. Yeah. That was annoying. Gonna get this out of here and play the temple. So we find a feather. Shockingly enough, that's not a feather.
that's a good one. Boom. Hey, 619. Splash. Down, 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 down. All right, Feather is 4-0 getting us there. Rank up. Time to face yeah, they did not have a very good hand there. We haven't, haven't had the most competition in the last couple hands here. And battle promotion. There we go. Yeah, this Boris Feather deck feels pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Vampires does have some some draws that are not too good. You know, like they They do have some consistency issues, for sure. I actually haven't played the Ixalan Constructed event yet. Does anybody have an Ixalan Constructed event that's really good that they recommend? Because, yeah, I still need to do that. There's like less than 20 hours, and I haven't done that yet. No, it's still, it's still going. All right, so we get a good a test against Scape Shift here. Yeah, just play Rakdos with Mayhem Devil and Karn. Dang, really good hand for our opponent here. On the play, turn three circuitous route. Strong. Yeah, beating Scape Shift on the play when they have a ramp hand like this is really, really difficult. I mean, our, our only hope is them not having Scape Shift. That's, that's actually our only hope. Okay, so Mono Green Tron struggled against Mayhem Devils. Need feather. And play. I don't even know if it's worth it to pay for life, honestly. 
So I was kind of debating about. Okay. You played the Good most work. recent Grixis control list. This. Interesting. Divine Visitation. It's rude. Whoa! Oh, right. I can't play instance. Right. That thing's a card. Bleh. If we draw another red source and can play 10th District Legionnaire. No. Right, that thing too has reach. Ugh. All right about that reach there. Should have God's willing to pro green, kill this to fairy. Yeah, Grazer having reach can eat. Yep, that's something. That's more Forget like about it. tea sometimes. That was one of those times. Need more red mana. And we need this Teferi dead. Should have just shocked it. Thought I was safe by doing that. Draw red mana. Nope. I don't know. I guess so. This is hardly my worst defeat. So that's why I went with that. I couldn't like go to combat and if they if they did that in combat and made some more angels then then God's willing of course because <clears throat> um, because we couldn't cast instance.
Any more red mana? There's no red mana. A mountain. Are you kidding me? Just give me a freaking mountain. Ray. Card, three cards. One Defiant Strike. One's God's Willing. And another Defiant Strike. I shouldn't be blocking. Please, yeah, thanks for bailing me out, opponent. I needed them to do exactly what they just did there. Oh, that is more red mana, but it's tapped red mana. But it's better than not red mana. I'll keep it. Hold on. Just not holding on anymore. Hey, Mr. Moo. I need that extra mountain here. I wish I would have put the other temple down on the bottom or... I don't know, drawn it, drawn this mountain. If I had the extra mountain, we'd be doing definitely doing better where if I could shock also. See if we had if that was an untapped red source and we were able to shock. Here we could, you know, block with the Defiant Strike, do four, and then the Shock does the other two.
Oh, my creature has zero toughness. No, that's not that's not how that works. That's four toughness. Oh, but it has what? Hmm. I guess I should have done pro red. No, because then I can't target with pro red. Oh, well, they found scape shift, so I'm dead anyway. No, God's Willing couldn't have protected the Feather. God's Willing wouldn't have done anything there to, to save more damage. Not too interested in playing Vanguard or War Boss here. I don't know, maybe a maybe a Vanguard, we just need another creature. Yeah, I could have done that too. Could have double reckless rage the the six six and then and blocked one of the four fours and trade with the four four. It was all it was all for naught. They had escape shift. It wasn't so it didn't matter any of that. Yeah, I know that I know that that arena had that correct how that worked with the damage. It's a 3/4 with 4 damage on it. Want to get Gideon start ticking up. Gideon Jura, at your service. I believe in you. Gideon also just does more damage to the opponent as well. Next turn. The following turn's probably gonna be Feather, Scry, look for Alpine Moon. Another day, villain. Unless we draw a spell. Now we have all the lands. We need these lands last game. We were stuck on lands for a while. So seeing Prison Realm does make me kind of want to play Demystify now. New Beloko doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Could use some spells here. He's 
This game is not looking good for us. Gonna get blown out by this blast zone. The thing is, if they try to go for blast zone on two, it does get rid of a land as far as Field of the Dead is concerned. Reckless Rage, please. Gosh, these Arcanists suck. This Dreadhorde Arcanist card has not been particularly good at all in any of these games. Bleh. Um. So. That's 4-1 with the five matches, but we also, we didn't really, we didn't play it. I guess one of those. <clears throat> kind of think of it, we didn't play one of those matches. It was just our opponent being disconnected. So that one doesn't really count. So we should probably play one more to get five matches in here. So yeah, come to think of it, that one didn't really count. It was just a, a disconnected opponent. It's really worth 3-1. As far as, like, you know, testing out the decks and everything, we've really only played four matches. So we'll get a little bit more information here with the deck. Do y'all think that I was supposed to mulligan my last hand? Was, <clears throat> what, four lands, 10th District Legionnaire, Gideon, Feather? I think that was it. Or was it three lands with those and an Arcanist? I know those were six of the cards were three lands and those three cards. I don't remember if the seventh card was either an Arcanist or a land. All right, Morgan. Thanks so much for that donation. Have a good night. And we were on the play against Cape Shift. Hey, Kronos. Welcome. Druids. Hmm. 
should probably slow them down. Let's see if I draw a land. Yeah. Alright, let's get the flyer out here. Flyer could be good. Also gives us repeatable God's Willings as well to get through blockers. Hey, Milligan. It's going good. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Yeah, today's gonna be a shorter stream. Just doing the, the just doing the three decks today. But we're playing five matches, five matches with each deck, so we're still playing. Lethal. So we're still playing 15 matches today. You know, basically an, an entire Grand Prix <laughs> worth of matches today. But yeah, it's a short stream. We got we have one more to go. We have John Dinos after this match here. Alright, so they're playing Bant Ramp stuff. I kind of like what we have going on here. I'm not sure about War Boss. I think War Boss is the card that I'm... That I like the least. But I kind of just don't want a sideboard. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm just going to keep this. Well, besides, uh, besides vampires and scapeshift, I mean, I think Boros Feather and John Dinos are right there as the next ones. This Boros Feather deck went 7-0 in the premier event on Magic Online this weekend. The John Dinos went 6-1. There were, you know, other decks that went 7-0, 6-1 also, but these decks are right up there. Hey, Eisenhower. Yeah, Feather's been doing pretty good for us. We lost Escape Shift, but beat Vampires a couple of times and beat something else. I don't remember the third, the other, the third deck we played that we defeated.
That's unfortunate. We have run into a lot of devout decrees today. Which makes sense for how popular Vampires is. It's one of the best cards against Vampires. Wait, can I not just... Oh, I had the auto-pass thing going. Well then. No, I won't. I won't be able to reach Mythic today. I don't. We're not playing enough matches. We're gonna be playing five matches of John Dinos, and then, uh, and this match here of Boros Feather. We haven't done too much with War Boss yet. This is a nice spot for it. Though. We haven't been drawing it too much. Yeah, maybe maybe reptile, we'll see. I haven't I haven't decided that yet. Um I had a real long day today, so that's why I have like the shorter stream kind of planned. But I haven't decided if I'm, you know, if I feel like it after the dinosaurs, if I feel like playing the treasure event right then, I will. Um, but maybe not. I just don't know yet. Okay, so let's see. Let's attack with everything but the war boss. I'll take that. I want to. I think I'm going to keep the. Yeah, just using that, keeping the reckless rage and everything. I think we got this. Our opponent hasn't really been doing anything. Here. All right. Bought my first pack in Fallen Empires. That's a long time ago. First BTQ top eight was an Odyssey, and I still learn things from Todd. Wow, that's that's a uh, very kind. Because yeah, that's you've been playing for a really long time there, and one well, congratulations on that P PTQ top eight in Odyssey. That's pretty sweet. I'm... <clears throat> uh, so Naya or Boros? I think Boros. Yeah, so we played Naya the other day. And, you know, played Boros today. And I, th I think I liked the Boros more. I think just to like the consistency of the mana and everything. Um, Daunt of Vanguard was, was definitely good for us. We didn't have that in the other one, I don't think. Um we had Spellbreaker in the other one, which I wasn't really that happy with Spellbreaker. I think I actually like War Boss more than Spellbreaker. But if you're playing against, I'll kind of say this again. I think if you're playing more, if you're playing a lot more against Esper and other control and mid range decks, you know Grixis, all those kind of things. I think you want Naya. I think that's where the enchantment, the green enchantment, really shines. Is the longer game, so the more mid range. Um, and control basically the more removal heavy decks you want that enchantment available but that's not really what the meta game's about these days it's a lot it's a it's a very powerful format that's a lot of people basically goldfishing against each other you know like a lot of quick aggro with uh, vampires or fast combo with scape shift um, you know it's a lot of that kind of stuff and I think 
Therefore, you'd rather have Boros. You'd rather have the low to the ground consistency that Boros brings. So we didn't draw Alpine Moon. I was interested to see if we would draw Alpine Moon, if it would actually stop the Scapeshift deck. I don't I don't think it would have. Like, that game two, even if we would have had Alpine Moon, they had bl they had uh, Blast Zone also. They would have just blown it up right away. Um, so I don't know. I don't I don't know if the Alpine Moon would have helped too much. Um, but I don't know. The Jun Dino should should be all three colors. Um, Blood Sun is the other thing besides Alpine Moon. I've always been, as we talked about at the beginning of the video, I've always been really big on on Blood Sun, liking it a lot more than Alpine Moon. But the list that we're playing here, the 7-0 list, was playing Alpine Moons. And uh, so I wanted to try them out. You know, I wanted to see how they did. But unfortunately, we didn't get to draw it against the Scapeshift deck. So we didn't really get to see uh, there. But uh, Flame Sweep's another option. Because, yeah, Flame Sweep doesn't kill your things. So that that is another option. If you prefer. Um yeah, you know, we just didn't get to see it. <clears throat> but yeah, we didn't. We, yeah, didn't get there against that Scapeshift deck. Anyway, there's Boros Feather, four one. Uh, felt pretty good. I think. I think if, if you're trying to decide which which Feather deck to play, Boros or Naya, I think I would recommend Boros right now, as the final option there. Anyway, uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. Well, that's it here for Boros Feather. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.